Hi everyone, welcome to Ed Gym for another week. As you all know, this week is book week. Um, I've seen some great things on Facebook, everyone dressed up, kids going off to school and kinder dress up in their costumes. So we thought we'd join in and so we might actually read my book first, which is There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Mozzie. Let's come and read it with me. We might read a book, seeing it's book week. This one's called, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Mozzie. Oh, there's some teeth. There was an old lady who swallowed a mozzie. I don't know why she swallowed the mozzie. She's got to be Aussie. There was an old lady who swallowed an echidna. It was hard to get down, and I'm not kidding you. She swallowed the echidna to catch the mozzie. I don't know why she swallowed the mozzie. She's got to be Aussie. There was an old lady who swallowed a snake. I'd rather eat cake, but she swallowed a snake. Oof. She swallowed a snake to wrap the echidna. She swallowed the echidna to catch the mozzie. I don't know why she swallowed the mozzie. She's got to be Aussie. There was an old lady who swallowed a rosella. It was a butte looking fella, that fancy rosella. She swallowed the rosella to squawk at the snake. She swallowed the snake to wrap the echidna. She swallowed the echidna to catch the mozzie. I don't know why she swallowed the mozzie. She's got to be Aussie. There was an old lady who swallowed a dingo. Crikey by Jingo, who swallowed a dingo? She swallowed the dingo to chase the rosella. She swallowed the rosella to squawk. Walk at the snake. She swallowed the snake to wrap the echidna. She swallowed the echidna to catch the mozzie. I don't know why she swallowed the mozzie. She's got to be Aussie. There was an old lady who swallowed a roux. It jumped on her tent so she knew what to do. Mm. She swallowed the roux to wrestle the dingo. She swallowed the dingo to chase the rosella. She swallowed the rosella to squawk at the snake. She swallowed the snake to wrap the echidna. She swallowed the echidna to catch the mozzie. I don't know why she swallowed the mozzie. She's got to be Aussie. Oh my gosh, look at them all in, the t in her tummy. She must have a very big tummy. There was an old lady who swallowed a croc. Oh my goodness, where is she going to fit this in? It made her be sick. What a shock. Look, that's fair. Oh my goodness. She was sick and brought all the, all the animals came up out of her tummy. And here she is having a campfire with them all. She's a funny old lady, isn't she? And that's the end. Okay, another activity we could do whilst you're at home, maybe on the weekend, is you can play hopscotch. So how we've just made a bit of a hopscotch thing here on my part. So as you can see, Maz is doing the hopscotch. So you go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Yep. I'm just going to come back and do it again. Oi. So when we play this game, we're actually hopping and we're balancing. We're jumping out like a star jump. So there's lots of um, lots of coordination and lots of things you're doing with Dad and realising while you play this game. What you can do is you can get a little stone or anything really and stand here and you throw it and see what it lands on. So it landed in this square over here. So I'm to hop now and not hop in that square. So you go one. And back again. Don't jump on that one because that's where the stone is. Balancing. Balance, balance, hop, hop. Yay! Okay, I thought we might play a game of hide and seek. What do you reckon? Okay, we've got to find Sophie or Minnie Mouse. Where do you reckon she could be? Well, we just, can you see her? Have a look around. I can't see her. I might go over here and have a look. Is she behind this tree? Nah, she's not there. Where else could I look? Oh, behind. No. We're 
going to play another game of hide, a, hide and seek. We're going to find Maz, well, Unicorn. Can you, do you want to help me find her? Let's go and see if we can find her. Hmm, I can't see her. Maybe she's behind the tree? No, I can't find my Maz there. I reckon she's behind this other one. No, I don't seem to see her. Can you find her? Oh, what's this? Found! Oh, found you. Okay, we thought we might do a couple of little songs today. Who knows the song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat? You wanna sit like this and pretend you're in a boat and get, pretend you're gonna row your boat? You ready? Off we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Did you see the crocodile? We might do another song. What's another favourite? I know. How about open, shut them? That's one of your favourites, isn't it? Ready? Off we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, do not let them in. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, just like this. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah! Give yourself a big clap, everyone. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed our session today and you had a good fun dressing up for book week as we did. Okay, we might do our goodbye song. You ready? Off we go. This is the way we nod our heads, clap our hands, stamp our feet. This is the way we wave goodbye to all our friends at Edge. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Have a great week.